this is Osa with a new process video. Today I'm making another Christmas layout and this one will be with two, two photos. And those two photos were taken with different cameras, the one with my SLR and one with my telephone. So they have, the, they have totally different um, so like proportions and, and uh, that's uh, stupid <laughs> so I first I need to crop uh, one of the photos to get them into the same size or at least width. I am working on a piece of uh, pattern paper that is not Christmas in any way it uh, just says uh, love this or something like that yes love this and uh, it's in uh, white grey with black print on top and uh, on this I will just make white uh, stars with the same uh, template as I used uh, for my uh, my uh, craft colored uh, layout the other day and uh, I will work with uh, um, completely different color theme this time with uh, the more like the black and just hints of uh, dark red so so this will be a little bit different than the last couple of layouts that I've done but that's fun anyway and it's a two photo uh, layout and uh, I hope that you will enjoy it <laughs> I still have Christmas layouts to share and uh, I'm thinking of making uh, uh, when I know uh, more uh, videos to share from Christmas I think that I would like to share my Christmas card process and uh, then just show you the layouts that I did and with uh, which I didn't film I actually took all my uh, supplies with me to uh, the sofa and I sat in front of the TV and scrapbooked by the living room table and uh, I have not done that for so long uh, not since I started making YouTube videos at all and it was kind of fun in a way to to just relax and 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 uh, create without the camera but also it felt like oh I would have wanted to, to share this with someone <laughs> so it, it was mixed feelings and uh, I, I really I really th feel that this filming uh, and uh, narrating my uh, scrapbooking it, it gives me something very special and very uh, dear and, uh, and uh, I will continue doing that now I have found those uh, papers that I want to put around my uh, photo block and uh, it's uh, red with white polka dots and then there's uh, like a shark chalkboard uh, black print with uh, shark uh, like letters, symbols, words and uh, yeah, random Christmas text on it. And I thought that was really uh, fun and uh, modern together with the other uh, black print that I already had on the background. The photos for this layout were taken in 2014 on Christmas Eve when we had the family gathering with uh, Hubby's family and uh, we went to uh, one of his uh, aunts and uh, we met there with the rest of the family and uh, we had uh, a dinner there and, and uh, exchanged gifts and everything and uh, when we got there we it's um, they, they we had uh, like drinks and uh, the traditional Swedish cr around Christmas drink is glug and glug it's like spiced wine and uh, it's spiced with just uh, the normal um, um, Christmas uh, spices, uh, lots of just cardamom and, and ginger and and uh, yeah, cinnamon and 
and everything and uh, it's served uh, hot or at least really warm <laughs> and uh, you serve it in really small cups and uh, together with raisins and uh, almonds and uh, together with that we we had uh, gingerbread cookies and uh, candy uh, traditional uh, Christmas candies so so that's the photos are taken from from that time on the evening when we had the the welcome uh, drinks and uh, just uh, talked with each other there are lots of uh, people that we don't really see very often uh, it's at the family gatherings then when when we meet so we did a lot of catching up and uh, everyone was excited you know christmas is, is that type of of, uh, gives uh, that uh, type of feeling to almost everyone. Uh, now I'm making a border. This washi tape I bought at IKEA, of all places, <laughs> and uh, I didn't want the whole tape to to show, so I just placed it over the edge and folded it onto the back side to make uh, a border uh, on top and bottom. And uh, I took this uh, um, like tree print uh, paper and I'm making circles to form foundations for my three um, embellishment clusters. They go in the same kind of grayish uh, tone like the chalkboard print, but they are solid um, in color and, uh, and not um, distressed in, in any way, but I, I thought that was uh, okay. I want to use the washi tape again, but uh, I will make uh, small like pieces <laughs> of washi. I place them on the on some uh, scrap piece of paper and I cut them out so that I can move them around without uh, them getting stuck. So uh, I'm just making die cuts of the washi. I think this is a very uh, fun way to to get small pieces of uh, embellishment. This washi tape from IKEA uh, had almost the same kind of red as the uh, red paper that I had as a background for my photo block. So I, I thought this was a really nice uh, time to, to use that tape uh, that I bought uh, perhaps in November when we went to IKEA and they had already put their Christmas stuff uh, up and um, I couldn't resist y you know when you stumble upon a piece of washi tape that you <laughs> that you like <laughs> you you can't re just resist so so that was a fun a fun find we don't have craft stores really uh, here in where I live so when you get to go to a place where they have something that's similar to, to crafting then you become a, a happy person. <laughs> now I have decided where to place my uh, embellishment clusters and uh, I just layer the, the circle together with the washi and uh, I will later add some twine on top of that. I think that a cluster at least needs three things so, so that will uh, be an addition later. And now it's time for some titling. I will be using the red uh, letters from Jilly Bean, and I really love these letters. I have a small card there, it's the backing from the package they came in, uh, where I just mark which letters I've used. And uh, that was a really good thing, by the way. <laughs> uh, then you know from the begin beginning if it's worth looking for the, the title that you have uh, in mind. Uh, and uh, I came across these uh, at a sale, I think it was during summer when I did my shopping and uh, I saw they, they were almost half price and I didn't buy them because I, I, th I thought that now when I had my cameo I will just print or cut uh, any letter that I want to use but it, it really hurt <laughs> because I love them so much and I, it's easy to use them and they are, there are lots of letters in the package and, but I didn't and uh, in a way I'm regretting that but I, I try, to, try to be strong <laughs> and just uh, 
uh, stay with my commitment to, to use my cameo for, for uh, uh, titles in the future. So, But uh, this time I use them and uh, the title will be Glug and Godis, which means uh, Glug and the Candy. And Glug, that's the drink that we were drink having. Uh, it's it's really uh, something that tastes Christmas to us here in Sweden. It's always uh, glug parties uh, in the uh, just before Christmas and uh, uh, around Christmas. It's it's a very popular drink. There are so many different kinds. Every year they come up out with the the flavor of the season and it's something special and uh, everyone is talking about which is the best and if you the, you like the the flavors that are new and if you have a favorite and and everyone's giving <laughs> advice <laughs> about which brands to buy and so so it's it's really uh, a Christmassy thing over here and there are strong types and there are uh, the more uh, th those that aren't even made out of wine it's more like uh, uh, a soft drink uh, for for kids and uh, but it still has the same flavor and the, there are all the varieties between those so now I'm just using some uh, twine to uh, finishing to finish this uh, page and I'm using the red white and green one I think yeah yes that's the one uh, to make it hole and also a couple of uh, punched out snowflakes. I hope that you have enjoyed this process video and I hope that I'll see you soon here again. Take care, this is awesome. Bye!